This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the usage of drugs. What's up everyone, I'm Low Key Fish, and in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about Kratom. Kratom is a popular herbal remedy that is used to treat stress, chronic pain, problems with focusing, and much more. Some people may pronounce it as Kratom, which is also a correct way of saying it. Both terms are accepted ways to pronounce it, but for the purposes of this video, I'll be saying Kratom. I'll explain the benefits, dosage, side effects, history, dangers, and a lot more. Let's get into it. is a tropical evergreen tree in the coffee family native to Southeast Asia and has been used in herbal medicine since at least the 19th century. In the US, it is legal in most states and is commonly sold in local smoke shops. Kratom has opioid-like properties and some stimulant-like effects. It's used for pain relief, energy and focus, euphoria, or even as an immune system booster. Some use it as a nootropic and it is one of the best ways to treat withdrawal symptoms for things like opiates. Kratom comes in different strains and types that yield different effects. I'll go over those differences later in the video. Specifically in Thailand, it was also used in socio-religious ceremonies and to treat various medical conditions, such as morphine dependence. In Malaysia, when opium and heroin became scarce, Kratom was used as a substitute. Buddhists were known to have used it as a healing and meditation tool. Historical records show that Northern Malaysians used Kratom much like coffee is used today around the world. In rural areas, it was used to treat issues like diabetes, fever, diarrhea, and pain. The onset of effects typically begins within five to 10 minutes and lasts for two to five hours. Anecdotal reports describe increased alertness, physical energy, talkativeness, social ability, changes in mood, and pain relief. Side effects may be short-term or long-term depending on your usage. These include insomnia, appetite loss, dry mouth, itchiness, nausea, and sweating. The phytochemicals found in Kratom are designed to interact with opioid receptors in the brain. These receptors control pain, reward, and addictive behaviors. Kratom leaves are commonly manufactured in powdered capsules or pills, but is also used by chewing the leaves, fruit as a tea, or extracted for use in liquids. Kratom is rarely ever smoked. If you use Kratom for a while, you will develop a tolerance, and withdrawal symptoms may occur if you stop after using it consistently. Regarding the dosage amounts, different doses yield different effects. Low doses between 1 to 5 grams produce stimulant-like effects within about 10 minutes. Effects last 60 to 90 minutes and include enhanced energy and alertness, decreased appetite, increased sociability, and heightened libido. Moderate to high doses such as 6 to 15 grams produce effects such as euphoria, reduced anxiety, pain reduction, drowsiness, cough suppression, and reduction in symptoms of opioid withdrawal. High doses like 16 to 25 grams produce highly sedating effects and is not not recommended for inexperienced users. Prolonged daily use of Kratom increases the potential for addiction and dependence. Users trying to break their addiction or dependence may experience both physical and psychological withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms can range anywhere from muscle aches or cramps, nervousness, restlessness, or depressed mood. It is also important to note that Kratom is grouped by strain or what you would call types. The strains are named after the region from which they originated or cultivated or exported from. Strains of Kratom are further differentiated by vein color, which is the color of the vein running down the the center of the leaf. There are three vein color classifications, red, green, and white. Red vein kratom is the most common and widely available strain. This is the best strain for being used as an effective painkiller, especially for those with chronic pain conditions. This strain also produces the highest calming and sedating effects that beginners may prefer. Red vein varieties have different effects and properties. Some strains such as red Thai and red vein Borneo have sedative effects, while others like red Sumatra produce elated mood effects. The white vein strain is known for its stimulating and positive mood enhancing effects that boost energy, prevent fatigue, and increase focus and concentration for complex activities. White vein strain is most often the go-to pick for those looking to replace the caffeine habits with something similar, but doesn't come with the same side effects like jitters. The green vein strain combines the best of what red vein and white vein have to offer. Its sedating effects are less of those than red vein, and its stimulating effects are less of those of the white vein. This is because it's a slight mix of the two. It's also recommended as a good strain for first-time Kratom users. Some find it as a must-have strain to alternate with to reduce dependence and avoid building tolerance. Additionally, thanks to its balanced effects, it is often used to ease social discomforts. All in all, Kratom has many benefits if used properly. Properly, but it's still important to understand the negative repercussions it can have if abused. I'm Low Key Fish, be safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.